told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just another chill draw with me video. Um, I do these once in a while and you guys seem to really like them, really enjoy them. And to be honest, is these are moments that I genuinely enjoy to just take about half an hour, 40 minutes to myself and to draw, to practice some figures. And since you guys enjoy watching them, I decided to record one again. Um, I'm gonna go through a little bit of how my process for drawing these usually starts. As you can see by now, I start with a line kind of, you know, showing me the inclination of the body kind of the direction of the whole basis of my drawing and then I start making shapes and make shapes for the upper body it's usually usually a more triangular shape and then I do another kind of triangular shape as well for the bottom of the body so the usually where you'd have your hip bone so I start with those two and then I start mapping out where the arms are, where the legs are going to be, the neck, the, the face. If I'm only going to do an upper body, I will probably start with the head and then go towards the shoulders and then the do block in the, the shape of the torso. I start with these building blocks because they help me get proportions a little bit better and also the shape and the position of things. Bodies are three dimensional and they move in, in, in ways that sometimes it's hard to express in, on paper. So I do my best to try and express those with the skeleton of what I'm building and then start slowly building and adding the meaty parts of the body so to speak and trying to capture their shape and their form but also trying to portray that they are three-dimensional it is hard to do this three-dimensional part um sometimes i think i achieve it pretty well other times not as much um but i try and you know portray what i'm looking the shapes of what i'm looking at i try to add the, the body's dimples and 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 folds and all of that and little rolls as well and just you know making them seem more natural and more uh, closer to reality i think for this exercise honestly lately i found that thicker bodies really really help understand curves in 3d uh the 3dness of the body i i fell into this trap of drawing slimmer bodies which i mentioned in the previous video that i did of this of these drawings and figure studies with me um and i fell into that trap and then when i started drawing thicker bodies i realized it's it's a lot easier you know it's a lot easier you can see the shape of the body a lot easier and it's and i have a an, an easier time just making it seem more three-dimensional um i do think that the shading that I do add to these pieces <laughs> isn't always the best. Um, and and I, I wish I found a way to do this a bit better. But I just keep going to this default shading and, and shapes that I usually do. So I definitely want to work a bit more on that. And I haven't taken the time to do figure studies in a while. There was this around this time that I was doing figure studies every day. Because I do think it's a nice warm up to do 2-3 figure studies every day. And you end up evolving through time. But you also have a little warm up session. Before you actually draw, start drawing and painting and everything. But with the busy schedule of life and work and everything. I've, I've kind of put this in the back burner. So when I tell you that... It felt good to have this moment where I could just draw and sketch and just do figure studies for the first time in a while. It felt really, really good. I mean it when I tell you it felt really good. Um, even though I'm not completely happy with all of these 
and I would definitely change things and I would have done things differently. Um, I do feel like it's still a very good exercise and I definitely should start incorporating it back into my day-to-day -day routine. But starting to work while doing art on the side is kind of hard to keep these certain routines going. Um, and if you're struggling like me, then just don't be discouraged. No, I got you. I feel you. And we will make it. And just adding this into like our day-to-day -day time will be best even if it's just once a week i mean it's it's still good you know 15 to 30 minutes it's it's perfect it's enough but yeah it, it felt really nice finally getting back into the groove of sketching and drawing and, and practicing a little bit without having to think oh what am i going to create today or how am i going to paint this digitally or whatever you know it was really no pressure into doing this correctly and it felt really really nice but anyways i'm gonna start rambling um and I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of the video. I know this is just a small, sweet little video today. Um, like I said, it's just it's it's a chill draw with me, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it. And if you want to see me, you know, doing this um, again, and you know, keep doing if you want me to keep doing this type of video, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if this is an exercise you do very often or if this there's any kind of technique in particular that you use. Um, I'm, I'm very illiterate when it comes to the techniques. Um, I just kind of draw and figure it out by myself and just draw by eye. And I, I guess techniques would be a better like approach to it. But I just I've read a few things in the past, kind of incorporated them and don't really think about any technique in particular while doing the, these. So. If you have any advice, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to check it out. And I know there's a lot of people out there that would, you know, benefit immensely from it as well. So, yeah, just let's just share these things with each other. Um, and I hope you make time this week to draw and sketch in your sketchbook, whether it's a figure study or something simpler. I hope you have time to do that this week. And I will try my best to do it as well and yeah uh i will see you guys next week for another video and again i hope you enjoyed this one and have a nice rest of your day bye mm -hmm.